Hello friends, this video on acid and base part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Now we will understand the reaction of metallic oxides with acids. So metallic oxides with acid give salt and water. This is the reaction. So metallic oxides are basic. If you see, we have a reaction base plus acid is equal to salt plus water, right? And here I am saying metallic oxide plus acid is equal to salt plus water. So if you see with this, you can see that metallic oxide are basic in nature, right? So they are basic in nature, therefore they react with acid, right, to form salt and water. Correct? We'll take some activity. We'll take some copper oxide, this is metallic oxide, it's black in color. We'll take this beaker and we'll put some hydrochloric chloric acid slowly and we'll stir it. We'll do it slowly and we'll stir it so the reaction happens, right? Now, if you see the solution is blue, it was black, it will turn blue. Why? Why? Because something happened. Because you know that this guy, copper oxide is blue, black in color, but CuCl2 copper chloride is blue in color. And the reaction that happened was, we have this copper oxide that is black. You add hydrochloric acid to this, you get blue CuCl2N. Correct. So in this case, you see that the black thing, copper oxide, and the transparent hydrochloric acid is blue in color. Now. Why? Because the reaction happened, right? So the black copper oxide becomes blue copper chloride. And in this case, my, my acid is reacting with metal oxide to give salt and water, right? This is my acid, this is my metal oxide, this is salt and this is water, correct? This is the reaction we have. So we have done metallic oxide with acid, now we'll do non-metallic oxide with base. Please note, it was metallic oxide with acid, now it is non-metallic oxide with base because metallic oxide with base won't react because metallic oxide is basic in nature, right? So we'll take non-metallic oxide and please note, non-metallic oxide is acidic in nature and that is the reason why it will react with base. So metallic oxide is, a light here, metallic oxide is acidic, sorry, basic in nature, and non-metallic oxide is acidic in nature. Please note this. So that's why non-metallic metallic oxide will react with base. So non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature and they react with the base to form salt and water. Similar reaction, the ACP reaction because this guy is acidic in nature. So we'll take carbon dioxide as a non-metallic oxide, we know, and we'll take one base, calcium hydroxide, CaOH2. So we know that calcium hydroxide and carbon dioxide we pass, this is nothing but my lime water. This term's milky actually. So if you see this calcium hydroxide, when you pass carbon dioxide, this becomes calcium carbonate, and this is milky in color, right? Plus water. So this is the reaction that happens when you have a non-metallic oxide with the base. Correct. And with this, we conclude that non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. This is a conclusion we derived from the activity. We knew it theoretically, but practically we did this experiment. We have this carbon dioxide gas, we have this uh, lime water, that is calcium hydroxide as a base. We pass this carbon dioxide with this lime water. We have done this in many other experiments, and we have seen that this turns milky. Thus, this is a salt that you get, right? Plus, this is the water you get, and this calcium hydroxide is my base, and my carbon dioxide is my non metallic oxide, which is acidic in nature, right? So, I'll say non metallic oxide. Correct? Okay, this is my non metallic oxide, which is acidic in nature. We'll now understand amphotheric oxides. 
MFO3 oxides are those oxides which shows acidic plus basic properties. Both. For example, zinc oxide, AN2O3, this is AN2O3, aluminum oxide. Both are acidic and basic, they show both the property. For example, in uh, hydrochloric acid, if you put zinc, you get zinc chloride plus water. In this case, it's acid, so this is acting as base, right? Now, this is a base that is acting as acid. Zinc oxide plus sodium hydroxide becomes NADH plus water. So, if you see, zinc oxide is acting as an acid in this case and base in this case. So, if you see here, it is a this guy is acid actually. So, if you see, zinc oxide is base here and zinc oxide is acid here. Correct. So these kind of uh, oxides which show both acidic and basic property are called amphotric oxide. What are neutral oxides? Neutral oxides, as the name suggests, are neither acidic nor basic. They are neutral. For example, carbon monoxide CO. They are neither acidic nor basic. They are neutral. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.